What is up, everybody? Welcome into this special, special episode of Flippin' Bats, where I talk to Kasumba Dennis, the 18-year-old catcher from Uganda that is coming over to the United States to play in the MLB Draft League and accomplish his dream, which is playing baseball over here. This is a powerful conversation, one that made me certainly very emotional. It is quite the journey, and this is one of the coolest things I have had the pleasure of doing on Flippin' Bats. This one is going to be awesome. Let's get to it. It's a blowout, eighth inning, 10-3. Bases are loaded for Verlander, who waits out a real pitch. He swings, and it's a high fly ball, deep center field. It is gone. Home run. And a huge bat flip to celebrate. All right, Ben, start the show already. What is up, my friends? This one is going to be special. The story of Kasumba Dennis is one that everybody needs to know. And a quick synopsis on it, Kasumba is 18 year old, years old from Uganda, uh, loves the game of baseball, and has put all of his work out on social media. And his dream is to be a Major League Baseball player. But the story is not that simple. He's gone through uh, a lot to get here. And then it was said he was going to be a part, as I said recently, of the MLB Draft League. But then he ran into some issues with his visa, and it didn't look like that was going to happen. But now, after everything, the visa got approved, and he is on his way to the United States to play in the MLB Draft League. How did this happen? Uh, that's, a, that's a great part of this story. So Kasumba puts out a lot of his work on social media, TikTok, Instagram, Instagram Reels, Twitter. And one day I happened to see one of his videos. And many of, many of his videos are him um, catching in the middle of the night, in the pouring rain, in the mud, with tires on his back, doing all of these awesome drills. And it certainly caught my attention. Well, one of those, it caught my attention, and, and I posted it from my, from my personal pages. And people were very interested in him and the entire story. So then fast forward to him reaching out to me on social media one day and saying, hey, I could really use your help. Um, I want to play baseball in the United States. If anybody is ever interested, any coaches, uh, anything, any help would be certainly appreciated. So I put out on my social media asking any and all coaches interested to reach out. And over the next couple of days, weeks even, I got so much uh, interaction from coaches and uh, administration offices asking questions and we were going back and forth and back and forth and um, it all led up to Major League Baseball reaching out and wanting him to be a part of the MLB Draft League of which he is now going to be a part of and is flying and coming to the first time for his first time to the United States and um, this is an emotional story it is a a special one for me and the entire Flippin' Bats community that certainly played a role in helping this happen, just a small role. I, I do want to make a note because he says this uh, many times that uh, shouting out a bunch of people and, and saying thank you for all of your help. I, I just personally want to say none of this would be happening if it wasn't for Kasumba himself and the hard work he puts in. And uh, that becomes very apparent from his videos and certainly is going to become apparent from hearing him. This is a special episode, and as we speak, Kasumba is on his way to the United States, but we just spoke yesterday, and uh, he was still in Uganda right before he took off, and uh, the, man, this one is so special. I am so excited for everybody to listen, so we're about to toss to that now. I just want everybody to know there are two people that were a part of this. You will hear two voices. One of them is his coach, Paul. So they will both be talking, uh, Kasumba and his coach Paul talk throughout this. And, oh, man, I am so excited for you all to hear this. So without further ado, let's welcome him in now, the 18-year-old catcher from Uganda, Kasumba Dennis. All right, I am so excited to be joined now by my friend Kasumba Dennis, the 18-year-old catcher from Uganda. Kasumba, thank you so much for joining me. It's my pleasure, sir. I am, Thank you. first and Thank foremost, you. I am so happy for you. Uh, congratulations 
on everything so far. And congratulations on being able to come over to the United States to play in the MLB Draft League. I'm so excited for you. Thank you, Seth. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So my yeah. first question to you is, how do you even fall in love with the game of baseball being from Uganda? I fell in baseball because I wanted to throw a lot. Uh, in Uganda, we have a different sports like football, uh, basketball, netball, but baseball is the difficult game. And I wanted to to like to to challenge. I I like challenge. Yeah, that's why I wanted to play baseball because it's a difficult game. <laughs> yeah. When did you when did you start playing? Uh, I started playing baseball when I was eight years. Uh, but uh, I practicing with with the coach Sempa John Bosco. And uh, at that time, I was in, with my grandmother, who, whom I stay with him, with her. And uh, I left baseball uh, when I was eight because uh, I was I, I was need to take care of my grandmother, and and I go to Klal to clean Klal to 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 get some small money to help my grandmother, but. The time come, Coach Po was in Japan, come to Uganda, and he asked him, ask Coach Po, Coach Sempa, why, where is Kasumba? He's, Coach Sempa told him, uh, he's, he's not here, but Coach, Coach, Sempa, Coach Po Wafla come to my place. Uh, please come back to the field. I'm going to take care of you. Uh, then I, then I, I come back to baseball. Wow, yeah. that's so cool. So this is your coach next to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, actual what he's trying to say, uh, what he, he was trying to mean that uh, when he started playing the game of baseball, he got to a time when he, he quit the game because mm -hmm. he wanted uh, to find something to feed himself and uh, his uh, family. But at his tender age, in my opinion, it wasn't good enough for a young man to, to, to go start working up uh, for, for himself and for his family. So uh, I told him, we, when I asked him what, what you're really doing in uh, ka, 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 ka Slaughterhouse, he was like, I, I am looking for something to eat. I was like, if yeah. you come to the basement, I'll give you something. <laughs> wow. I was like, really? He was like, <laughs> <laughs> I told him, anytime, anytime I see you at the basement, baseball field you'll get something to eat so i think he used that as an option to come to get something to eat every time at the field but uh in the long run it helped him a lot yeah how did you so how did you start learning the game of baseball once you realized you loved yeah. the game how did you start learning the game uh oh before i start playing baseball uh, I was uh, using my my tea because I did not know baseball. I did not know bat, and I used stone with stick, and I hit myself. But when I I met Coach Simpa, he was walking uh, with go golf golf tea. Yeah, and I asked him, "Can I use that stick uh, to hit?" And I got to pick my stone. When I pick my stone, Coach Sempa told me, "Ah, oh, no, 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 no! Don't use, don't use. Come on, come on! We go to the baseball pitch, and I teach you." I thought, "Well, I'm going to use a golf, golf, tee golf," but he told me, uh, "This is bat. This is <laughs> baseball. Uh, this is glove. Uh, this game called baseball." Uh, that's the way I start playing baseball and I learned baseball equipment. So I know I saw you through social media. You post a lot of your drills on social media, Instagram, TikTok. That's how I saw you and started following your journey. When did you start posting things on social media? Uh, how long ago was that? Uh, well, uh, I was not a... I wa uh, when I'm, I'm playing in in Uganda national team, and with the, with my team in Gaza, uh, everyone 
want me because I'm playing baseball. Yeah. But I start posting my videos to to get opportunity to 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 leave my team to go to another team to to go to another level. That's why I start posting my videos to look for opportunity. If I can get another team which give me which you can give me opportunity to play with them. So like well, it is it, it is certainly worked. It's how it's how I saw you and uh, seeing those drills on on social media, I think is is a big reason why you're able to come yeah. over to the MLB Draft League. How did yeah, how did sure. that happen? Did somebody reach out to you with Major League Baseball and ask if you wanted to come play? Sean, Sean, uh, when I'm posting my my videos, uh, Sean look look to my 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 videos and contact to be, president of baseball in Uganda to reach out me. Then he contact me. Actually, actually, what he's trying to say that. Uh, he was posting a uh, tons of videos on uh, mm -hmm. social media, so different people were getting to share them. Thank you so much for Ben for sharing our videos. Of our video. He has been so instrumental in sharing those videos. Thank you so much. And uh, when he posted uh, uh, different tons of videos on social media, uh, there is uh, an executive director of uh, MLB Draft called Sean Campbell. Yes, Sean Campbell got to see to watch yeah. the videos. Yeah. Most of them you were posting. Yeah. posting uh, on Twitter. So he was he was wowed. So in that in that long run, he contacted uh, different people and he contacted one of the person in Uganda who is the baseball president in Uganda. And he was, do you know this kid? He was like, yeah, I know, the, I know this kid. So the, the baseball president contacted me. He was like, someone is talking about Ka Kasumba. Is he really doing the, the exact thing they, they are talking about? I was like, I was like, yes, of course. He's my, he's my, he's my man. He's my, you know, I groomed him <laughs> from zero, so I know what he's doing is, is the right thing. I was like, yeah, I know, I know what he's doing. So that's when uh, I think MLB drafter uh, gave us an opportunity, gave him an opportunity, yeah, to come to showcase. Kasamba, what are you most excited about coming to the United States? Uh I'm so excited because I'm going to be near with my dream uh, to be MLB. Because <laughs> since I was, I, I was wanted to become MLB player, yeah. to be like yeah. Salvador Perez, yeah. Yadia Molina. Because yeah. I yeah, follow yeah. Salvador Perez every like from the star from the steps. Throwing, blocking, a laugh, a hitting. <laughs> I like him so much. Uh, so Salva is Salvador Perez your favorite catcher? Yes. That's <laughs> why I want to I, I want to be better than him. <laughs> so but I remember but, seeing when you come over, your coach is gonna be Rene Rivera, who was a former major league baseball player. Have you talked to Rene Rivera yet? Yes, every time I talk to him, and I'm I'm so excited. I'm going to meet him. Yeah, That's really yeah. cool. So, yes. uh, a lot of your videos that I've seen and posted, a lot of them are of you catching, uh, doing catching drills in the night, in the middle of the pouring rain. It does not matter. You are outside doing catching drills. Um, there are definitely less drills that I've seen of you online of you hitting. So. Um, are you are you excited uh, to come over here? And how do you believe? Um, do you think you'll be able to hit? Um, uh, do you believe you'll be able to hit pitching over here? What's the hardest pitchers you have faced in Uganda? Well, uh, in Uganda, I face uh, a lot of hit uh, uh, best pitchers in Uganda, and I hit them. And I hope <laughs> when I go to uh, to US. I can hit because um, Salvador Perez can hit. <laughs> if he if he cannot hit, I don't like him because <laughs> he missed the ball. But he, he hit. That's why I'm working hard in my batting skill, uh, throwing, blocking, to be perfect in everything. I I believe in you. I have seen. Uh, I I obviously have seen a lot of your catching videos. 
You look yeah, yeah. really, really good behind the plate and like a great catcher. And I've seen videos of you hitting as well. I have no yeah. doubts you will be able to come over here and hit just fine. I, I think it's going to be, I think you're going to do great. I'm really rooting for you. I also last year had Salvador Perez on my show. So I want to try, wow. uh, I'm going to try and wow. reach out to Salvador Perez and let him know that you're a huge fan and see if, uh, if, please, see if he can reach out please. to you or something. Please, please do. Thank you, sir. Please do reach out to him because he's always talking about him. He's always, you know, even I think when he's sleeping, he's dreaming about him. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I will definitely so reach do. out to him. He's a he's such a he's a super nice guy. So uh, I'll certainly let him know that you're a huge fan. Um, but That's other so than fun. what are your goals coming over here? You come over, um, I believe, 28th or 29th and you come over, games immediately start for you. So what would you say your goals are while playing in the MLB Draft League? Uh, my my dreams is to become MLB player. Uh, that's why when I got, when I, I, I get this opportunity to show everyone I can play MLB, that's why when I got there, I want to be, to work hard, to winning my team, to become their MVP, to become uh, so that MLB can draft me to another team to, to work hard to so I can help to my brothers in Uganda who is playing baseball because everyone is poor here. That's why I, I need to work hard to help them. Kasamba, you work so hard. And I mentioned a lot of your videos are in the mud, in the pouring rain, in the middle of the night. You work so hard and it is so inspiring to myself and so many people here that see your videos. I think that's why your videos become so popular is because of how hard yeah. you're working and it inspires people. What makes you work as hard as you do work? I'm working hard because uh, as I say, I want to become a better. Uh, I want to help my grandmother cause uh, my situation here is not good. Uh, sometimes I'm going to the baseball field without eating anything, and I did not tell anyone. Because uh, sometimes I watch my videos and I I look one by one. Uh, this video I was not eating. This video I was hungry. Uh, that's why I'm working hard to help my grandmother, my baseball brother, uh, even me to be. To, to achieve my goal, uh, yes. Wow. So there, there yeah. are days where you will go to the baseball field and you haven't eaten or you don't know where, you don't know when you're gonna eat next and you're, you're hungry. Yeah, yeah, there, uh, maybe to, to supplement on that, uh, there are lots of days. Sometimes I always uh, tell him not to work out because he comes at the pitch, he's like, coach, I've not eaten anything, but I feel like working out. There are lots of days I've been sending him home. I'll, I'll, I'll be, I would be like, no, today, it doesn't make any sense to work out without have, having eaten anything. It sometimes is like, uh, but I have nothing to eat. So from there, that's when I have to, to, to do something to, 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 to have a little I can provide to him to, to eat. If he doesn't have to, to, to eat, uh, if he doesn't have anything to eat, sometimes I've been sending him home. But him, if I'm, I'm to send him home without having e uh, eaten to play on the baseball field, that's when he goes out to 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 make his own videos. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll send him yeah. home, but he'll just go home and do work even more. <laughs> yeah. He goes. So sometimes I I feel I feel I feel shocked. I'm on my social media. I'm like, mm, I'll send Kasumba go back home, but he's. He posted something new working out. <laughs> when I'm to, <laughs> when I'm to call out, to call him that why did you work out in this? You told me you didn't eat anything. I was like, man, I feel like do working out. I had nothing to do. So I, I I've never seen someone motivated like I'll be honest with you. I've never seen someone motivated like Kasumba, who who has the working, the highest working ethic like him. I've never in my entire life. That was going to be my next question for you, Coach. In, in your uh, life, have you ever seen somebody that uh, you said it's, he's the most motivated you've ever seen? Have you ever seen somebody work as hard as Kasumba works? 
Well, uh, before before I was uh, I was playing uh, professional, uh, semi professional. I played independently in Japan. I came. I always came back to Uganda, and he always saw me work out. But when he always approached me, he, he always told. He asked me why you're working hard, and uh, I told him when you want to be a professional player, you have to work harder to beat what I'm working out. So I think in this instance, this when he started working hard, I think to beat what I was working harder, uh, what I was working out. So in this long run, he started uh, working out his uh, working styles. So because he told me he wanted to be a better player, I told him every better player works out hard. So in my surprise, he was working out more harder than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> so you told him he needed to work out more and he started working out more than you ever imagined he could work out. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> I told him uh, you have awesome. to work harder. So, so, so he worked out more, more, more harder than I expected. So, <laughs> but, uh, in the, in, but by the way, in the, in the first, po in the first uh, during the first time, I told him you're overworking out. This is going to hurt you. This is gonna, you know. So I, uh, in the long run, I saw he's catching up with his workout. He's being yeah. perfect in his workout. He's, you know, you know, each and every workout he was doing, he was doing it right. So I was like, you know, just do your thing. Yeah. <laughs> now here we are. Uh, here we are is right. Because somebody, you're coming over <laughs> to the United States to to live out part of your dream you know you get to come to the united states to play baseball are you coming alone or is somebody coming with you kasumba i'm coming alone awesome so you're coming alone yeah, and then you're going alone. are you staying with renee rivera is that who you're staying with over here yes i'm going to stay with the mr rivera what do you think uh we talked about baseball and uh, obviously you said your goal is to make it to the major leagues and, and that's what you want while coming over here is to prove that you can make it uh but other off the field what do you think you are most excited about to experience in the united states uh at first i'm going to see a beautiful baseball uh domes uh because i never see like baseball field like um, like major league stadiums and I have opportunity. I'm going to play with like with like MLB players. I'm so excited to see them, to see a good domes. Like, yeah. I um. So a lot of the a lot of the teams that are in the MLB draft league that you're going to be playing in, I looked up the stadiums and a lot of where you'll be playing. I have gotten to play in a lot of the stadiums that you're going to get to play in. And they are some of the most beautiful stadiums that I have ever wow. played in in my life. So you are going to experience some beautiful <laughs> baseball fields, my friend. Yes. What That's do you think? Uh, what, what are you most excited to try for uh, in terms of food? Is there anything you, you're going to come over and you're like, I need to eat that? <laughs> uh he what? has been always talking about burger, 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 burger. I never eat them. <laughs> I will. You have to let me know. We'll have to uh, throughout the process of you being over here and playing. We'll have to keep talking so uh, we can get updates throughout. And uh, you have a lot of yeah. people that are following along your journey. And uh, my yeah. question to you would be: I, I don't think. You, I don't even think you understand how many fans that you have that are truly rooting for you and that truly believe in you. And uh, if you had a message to all of your fans in the United mm -hmm. States and you're coming over to play, what would your message be? Yeah. Uh, at first, uh, I want to thank you, Mr. Ben. And uh, thank you very much for helping me. Uh, thank you for being a good man. Thank you for being a good friend. And uh, I want to thank Mr. Joshua William, um, Coach Paul Afla, and everyone who shared, who watching me, uh, who believe in me, because it's very difficult to believe in someone who not uh, see, uh, who, who don't know him. But thank you very much. I really, really appreciate 
And uh, I promise I'm going to work hard to become MLB player to, to change everyone when I have a, a opportunity. That's awesome. It's yeah, maybe it has been, uh, yeah, maybe to supplement on that, uh, I, 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 there are lots of fans who have made Kasumba. They have made him the person he's right now. So they have made Kasumba. And uh, when they make Kasumba, they have made me. When they, have, they make me, they have made my team. So I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who have made us. Because without them, Kasumba wouldn't have been known. Without them, uh, no one have, uh, would, would have known us. So I take this opportunity first to thank you. Thank you for all the sharing uh, our videos, his videos. Thank you so much, uh, uh, whoever has been following this journey, because it's due to you people, this, because uh, we are here right now. This is really awesome. Thank you for making us. Of thank course. Thank you very much. Thank You're you. welcome. But so I, I just want you to know, um, this, you are known because of you and all of your hard work and your videos get put out there and people like them and want to share them because of you yeah. and your hard work. So um, maybe, maybe you wouldn't be coming to the United States without a little bit of help, but everybody's helping because of you and they believe in you and they believe in the person you are and how hard you work. So all of this Kasumba is happening because of you and uh, you should be yeah. very, very proud of yourself, my friend. Yeah, thank yeah, you, yeah. sir. You're welcome. So uh, we will keep talking to you throughout your journey. I'm so excited for you. You come over to the United States any day now. So Kasumba, good luck with this entire journey. And we will certainly be in touch. And I will also reach out to Salvador Perez and see if uh, we can oh, get you in touch with your favorite thank you, well. thank you, Mr. Ben. It's You're really welcome. good fun. Of course. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, I just wanted to thank Kasumba again for joining me and wish him well on his journey to the MLB Draft League in the United States. That was special. There were a few times throughout where I was very close to getting emotional. Certainly some tears in my eyes when he was talking about his grandma and going to practices without having any food and Coach Paul turning him away because he hadn't eaten all day. But Kasumba being Kasumba goes home and just works, works, works and puts it out on social media. And man, I am so excited for him and this journey. And everybody that is a part of the Flippin' Bats community knows this journey. I have been talking about it uh, since the beginning and we have played a very small role in helping him get to where he is in the United States in the MLB Draft League. But it is all because of Kasumba and the hard work he's put in. And you could hear it all in that. It is just very cool to be able to, because of this community, have the platform we do and be able to pro promote his work and put that out there. And now he's here and we're going to be talking to him throughout the entire way. And I am going to certainly be reaching out to Salvador Perez and hopefully getting the two of them in contact or something happens there. I don't know what it's going to be, but... I know Salvador, being the person he is, is going to be interested in this. So stay tuned. This journey is just beginning, but what a journey it is and what a special, special conversation to be able to have with Kasumba. I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I did. Uh, thank you all for listening. Make sure you subscribe to Flippin' Bats wherever you listen to your podcast. It really helps Apple or Spotify, wherever. We're also on all social media where a lot of this went down. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and you can watch everything we do on YouTube as well at Flippin' Bats Pod for all of them. Thank you all for listening to this special, special edition of Flippin' Bats. Until tomorrow, my friends, that does it. Peace.